unfortunately. It does dodge Spell Snare, though. I will give E Witness that. The format is full of Spell Snare right now. A lot of decks are running more than just two copies. I'm actually on the lower side. I've seen some people run like three. It's usually a two of. I, but, I mean, people are upping the Spell Snare count. It's crazy. A lot of Tarmogoyfs and Snapcasters being slung around. So, I'm, I'm, I'm all for getting us off the twos train. I'm fine with our twos just being three snaps. Um, if I had the fourth snap, I probably would play it, even though it plays directly into Spell Snare. Um, the card's becoming more and more prevalent, though. I mean, we, I'm using it. I'm, I'm part of the Spell Snare crew. I'm, I'm fully aware that the card is sweet. I've known it's sweet for a long time. I think I was among the, the group of players in Modern. You rewind months and months and months. Um, maybe even a year or two, uh, when I was first getting the blue white red control for modern, back in paper, I was well aware that this card was just very good. Um, so I think I think everybody else has finally uh, caught up to what myself and some of the other guys were thinking back then. Pl okay, let me rephrase. Plenty of people knew that spell snare was sweet. I feel like the cards only really recently become just played like it should have been. Does that make sense? I feel like this card is finally being played like it should have been played years ago in Modern. Um, this sees play in Legacy, too. Occasionally, you'll see people with like a one-up Spell Snare or more. Um, counters Young Pyromancer. Stoneforge Mystic, Counter Spell. Um, Snapcaster Mage. Doesn't counter Dick through time. It used to be stronger. I'll give you that. It used to be stronger in Legacy. Now that it's a dig through time format, I'm less, I'm less enthused with Spell Snare. I'm really excited about this list, though. I think I think a one of Eternal Witness would make me really happy. Yeah, Goyf is played in Legacy. That's very true, Kron. I, I knew I was leaving something out. Yeah, I mean, so a lot of the different, you know, some people still play Dark Confidant, even though. Um, Dick through time doesn't play very nicely with Dark Confidant. You could counter a Umizawa's GTA that's hard cast. You could counter. Um, <laughs> you could counter uh, some of the lords and Merfolk, although they, they always have the Violet or Cavern, it seems. You could counter Counterbalance. There's a good one. Um, you can Spell Snare Counterbalance. Um, him to Turok. That's another good one. Him to Turok. Um, I wouldn't really want to spell Snare of Baleful Strix. Well, maybe you would. Depends on the board state. You can spell Snare of Baleful Strix. You can spell Snare Thalia. Oh, I already mentioned Stoneforge Mystic, Cav, uh, but you're on the right track. Uh, Thalia. Against Mud, you could counter a couple of their early plays. The Revoker, you could counter the um, Thorn of Amethyst. Another common two drop. In Legacy. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the payoff cards, everything from Young Pyromancer to Stoneforge, they're all CMC2. And then Counterbalance. Well, Counterbalance isn't the payoff spell, but it's, it's the engine. I think it's enough targets. You know, I think Counterbalance is still okay. Or, uh,. I think Spell Snare is still okay as like a one of in your legacy deck. Oh uh, yeah, Tanker, I did mention Counter Spell. I agree. That's also an excellent target in Legacy, but we're talking modern. Modern, you're talking Goyf, you're talking Southcaster Mage, both of which are really oppressive. If you're not playing one or both in your deck, you should be. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, it counters a lot of the relevant stuff against Affinity. Um, you can counter Romans with it if you have to. It gives you a lot of control. It does. No, I'm really, I'm, I'm a fan of the spell snare. Some people are still playing Young Power Mancer. You get some people playing that Abbot card. You can counter Eidolon the Great Realm if you're if you're playing against Burn. There's a few targets in the uh, Malira combo. Well, not Malira. Excuse me, Collected Company decks. There are some twos to hit for sure. 
Yeah, I like it as a duo. I, I'd be okay cutting one Plasm Capture even though it's our build around card. Um, and running an Eternal Witness. I think there were a lot of games where I had some juicy stuff to get out of the graveyard that weren't snapcastable. You know, the, the Jace, not snapcastable. Um, Grizzle Daddy, Grave Titan, Swag Tusk, Lands, not snapcastable. Summer Bloom, Plating, Steel Overseer. Those are the big ones. Ravager as well, Geekman. Yes, yeah, Summer Bloom. Yep, that's an excellent example. Cav. Yep. Very true. Summer Bloom. Yep. Bloom Titan. It's a deck. Uh, Gorio's Vengeance, if you're playing random artifacts in Tron. Okay. Depends on the type of Tron, but sure. If it's red green Tron, they don't run twos. Usually they run ones and then they run threes. Uh, if you're talking like the blue variants of Tron or Gifts Tron, yes, there are twos to counter. Um, Gorio's Vengeance deck, um, Grishol Brand, if you actually want to call it that. Um, I would be willing to cut the mismatched Plasm for a Singleton Eternal Witness. I'm not. I'm not blown away by it though. This is kind of our build around card, and like, if we have a hand where I have Jace or I have Tusk or Titan or Grizzle Brand, and I don't have a way to capitalize on them. Without the Plasm Capture, we're in trouble. Um, so ideally, the deck wants to always turn for Plasm, something hopefully CMC2 or larger, to facilitate playing Grave Titan, Throgtus Jace. Um, I guess due to the bug, in paper this wouldn't work, you wouldn't be able to turn 5 Grizzle, but because it's busted on Moto, we can. So I'm actually going to curve this and pretend that this is the 5s. That's so dumb. I'm still not- I still can't get over this. Why are we the only people that know that this card is stupid busted? Because nobody was brave enough to play it? Like, what's going on? Like... Hold on. There's like a page on this. Hang on. Bugged cards on Moto. There, there's literally a, a list. There is a page. There's no way we're the only ones who know. I'm sure people have messed around with this in EDH. I'm sure. For sure. Alright, plasma cash. Let's do a search. Control F, come on. Or function F. Come on. There we go. Plasma cap. We're the only ones who know. They don't know. We need to tell them. I mean, I'm sad because we just brewed this deck and I'd love to derp around with it a little longer, but uh, it's not in here. It's not working right. It's not working like it's supposed to. Hey, what's up, Poe on Twitch? Yeah, that card is not working like it's supposed to at all. I don't see anything on it. They don't, they have no idea. <sighs> I'm sure there's lots of cards they don't know about. They did know about Knight of the Reliquary. Check this out. If I do a function and search. Uh, Knight of the Relic. Whoa, it's supposed to be on here. Knight. I'm probably on the wrong page. Let me go to the known issues. Hang on. Have you seen you for a week or two where you've been? School, uh, Poe on Twitch. I've also changed uh, my stream time, Poe. This is actually a lot later than I'm supposed to. Page not found. Well, I want to see the known issues. Huh. You know that they're just like derping around when they legitimately have to make a page for known issues. It's like, what are you doing, Magic Online? Why can't you just fix them? <sighs> Alright, let's look at these. Okay. Ugh. 
Plaza not on here. Knight of the Reliquary hasn't been fixed either. I play with both of those cards. But no, it's good to see you, Poe, on Twitch. I, I've been streaming earlier and earlier because, um... I, um... I mean, I understand it's complicated, though. In fairness, I do understand. All right, I'm in the mood for maybe brew one more. But this deck was super sweet. Let me let me post it one more time. Just be aware if you play it on Moto, it's not going to work as intended. It, it works better than intended, but it, it's cheating. You, you can't take this to a tournament, so don't. And if you do and you get banned, it's not my fault. It's like I told you just now. This deck is sweet. It needs, obviously, some tuning. Could use more cryptics, more snaps. If you have cryptics or snap, run them. I'm not trying to say that this is the best version of this deck. It's not, by far. Um, I think it could use more tar pits. Um, instead of a split of tree and and pit. I think it could use different mana, but we squeaked by with the hinterlands. We were casting the plasm every time we needed to, basically. Um, so, buying the two hinterlands fixed, fixed our double green. So there's that. Um, so yeah, by all means, if you want to mess around with this, please do. It's definitely a cool concept. There you go, blow those up so you can kind of see what the sideboard looks like. I would love a way to recur this, the Fulminator, even though we're not in the Culligan's command colors. It's a little slow, but I, I, I would like to try sometime to get an E-Witness in this thing. Not yet, though. sideboard card though despite not being able to recur it I think it's okay anyway um, what was the other deck concept we were gonna build trash for treasure another card that probably is broken but nobody has busted it yet right So, what are we going to be reanimating with this, right? Uh, let's see what I own. Well, first of all, how expensive is this card to build around? I wonder if this gets played in EDH and it's going to be expensive. It is nothing. Wow, why is this so cheap? Really? Hey, what's up, Shadow Zord? That is... Pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. I could get three from him. Finding the last one might cost us a ticket, but we can at least get three. Yeah, we're maybe doing trash for treasure. I'm gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna brew modern trash for treasure real quick, and then I'm probably going to go to bed. If I can get a playset... So, Gifts Ungiven would be a good way to trash for treasure. Like, this is an option. This would do a good job setting up a trash for treasure. Um, ink, I think it's fine. A Leviathan would be fine. Um, what are some other degenerate big artifacts I happen to own? Um, you'll get me one? Oh, well, thank you, Shadow. I, um, I definitely can get three just with my cred. So Leviathan. How much are Leviathans? I feel like that's like the best.